Hey guys, I'm Fun the Blanks, and welcome back to Let's Play Yoshi's Island. This will be the last episode. We got three levels left to go. One of which is extra five K Max Revenge. K Max Kamek's Revenge. K Max Kamek. Hammock's Revenge. I don't know. This might be the hardest level in the game. Uh, we got Kamek over there. He likes to jump at you, and because I have my my TV's uh, sound so low, and I'm not wearing a headset, even though I should be. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to <laughs> hear him come at me. Oh my god. Yeah, this is a hard level. This is a hard level. Lots of things going on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> ah, shit. It's not coming. Okay. So, yeah. Oh my god. Well, I'm screwed. <laughs> yeah, that's this level for you. Um, and basically, I've just beaten the game. Um, you won't be able to see that till the end of this episode, so I'm very low on lives, so I might even get a game over here, because this stupid game does not save your lives for some reason, which I think is really dumb. And that's another death! Holy shit. Wow, yeah, we're gonna get a game over here, I think. I don't even think the zeros count, so I think this might be my last life. Uh, it's the most annoying thing about this game, is that it, it just doesn't save your lives, which is so dumb. Oh, how'd that not hit me? Well... I can't believe I survived that. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so difficult. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, this will be a longer episode because we have uh, three levels and basically the ending of the game, so... That's going to be fairly long. Because uh, I've already taped the ending, basically. So you're seeing this kind of out of order. And uh, the ending, like the last level plus the ending is like, oh, come on, thank you, is like 50 minutes long, so. Wow, that went really well. Need one more egg, though. Oh my god, hello. This also has a, um, do I have a, oh, you know, this will do. Up, 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 up. There we go. Um, what was I saying? Jeez. Ah, for Holy crap, this looks hard. Yeah, we have a skiing portion as well. It's the only other level in the game with a skiing portion. It's right here. Let's use the magnifying glass. I just want to see if that'll work. We've never used it yet, so let's use it. Kind of wanted to see if it's the whole the whole level or if it's just this like like the one room you're in, which would be really stupid if it was. But I'm okay if I don't get 100 percent because we've 100 percent of the game basically already because we got to these all these levels, so not a big deal if we don't get it. Also, be really careful with Kamek because he can screw up really easily because he's still ah well I messed up there and there. Jeez. Oh yeah, these ones I all get. Cool. Eh, and gonna get hit. Oh, <laughs> just keep going. Um. Will I still have the magnifying glass now? Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Jeez. Look at how much I missed. This is this is the... Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy crap. I missed everything. I'm doing amazing. I'm so good at the video games, guys. It's not even funny. Is that a train? That looked like a train... Oh, it was a helicopter. It's like, please tell me there's not a train thing there. Eh. Nope. I want at least... Oh, they're pushing me up, so I guess I'll keep going up. <laughs> Whatever, not a big deal. Yeah, this whole level is just K-Mac. Oh my god. More things. I was really hoping I'd get more of a car uh, transformation level, but there really isn't. This is just that one area in the game. It's weird how they make it into... Oh, shit. Oh, uh, well... Oh my god. No! I think I'm dead. Yeah, I think I'm dead. Yo, that's death, all right. I'll meet you right back there, guys. Alright, whew. There's a lot to get in those areas with, like, red coins and stuff. Pretty, pretty ridiculous. Yay, look at my amazing ring of one friggin' flower. So yeah, if you're just casually playing the game, this might be what the rings look like for you if you're not giving a shit about collectibles. It's super weird, though. I don't like seeing it that low. But I figured, whatever. <laughs> you saw where all the coins were anyways, because that was just rushing fast. Wow, 8 out of 20. That is pretty bad. All right, so here we go. I've only got the one life left, so that's really, really dangerous. But here's extra six. There's Bowser right there. <laughs> Spoiler alert, Bowser's in this game. 
Extra six, Castles, Masterpiece Set. Kind of a cool idea. Not super difficult. I still say that that last level we were at is definitely the hardest level in the game. Come on. Should probably stock up on uh, eggs. Or I can just do this. There we go. But I find none of the... Um, ow, dang you. None of the uh, extra stages seem to be that long, which is, you know, fine by me. It means that they're just quick challenges, and I like those a little bit more, geez, than just crazy long levels. You know, like the crazy long level of crazy, uh, uh, really long cave or whatever it's called. Oop, did not make that. Well, made it this time. Haha. <laughs> It's like the masterpiece set. Does that mean like every enemy in the game's here? I gotta doubt that, but just a lot of stuff. Not a particularly difficult level in my opinion. Like not easy or anything like that, but I don't know. We've we've gone through much harder. I mean, we did like 12 seconds ago. Yeah, not doing badly at all. At all. Gonna go ahead and do this. Yay. Thank you. Nice. Oh, by the way, when I died in the last uh, level, uh, the magnifying glass does not carry over after you die, which I guess makes sense. But clearly, um, kept throughout the, the, the whole level, like uh, throughout different rooms or, or screens or whatever, which is, which is nice. So, in other words, you'd, you'd want to use one right at the beginning of the level. But a cool little thing. Um, I wonder if I have any things that you haven't seen yet. Pow and just a blue watermelon. Nothing crazy. I think I'm on my last life, too. No, I got some lives. Which makes sense, actually. Be gaining coins and whatnot. Oop, shit. Oh, that's close. Ah, I ran right into that, too. Well, jumped right into that. Whatever. Yes, I want to start. Come on. <laughs> I know it's not loading times, but it feels like loading times. And I'm very impatient. You guys know that by now. Feels super impatient. It's what he does. He's kind of a dick about it. Eh, okay, good. <laughs> there we go. I always forget that you get a little bit more jumpy. Ah! <sighs> Jumpiness when uh, platforms are going up. So. Okay. And I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick around here. Oh, I wonder what that spells, guys. But what that spells? Yeah, that was grammatically correct. Oh man, I'm like really nervous for some reason. There we go. Yeah, nothing crazy. It's just like a, a more traditional like, hey, this is the final level. Congratulations. Let's spell out your name and stuff. Oh god. It's not like the other, uh, the more recent Mario games where the last level is like this insanely difficult thing. Like, for the one in Yoshi, or Yoshi, the one in Mario Odyssey was just absolutely redonkulous. I couldn't believe how insanely difficult it was. First time through it when I was taping it for you guys, I had basically had to use, um, the Peach Amiibo. I, I was pretty much cheating because I was like, I need more hits, man. I wasn't able to do it the first time. I've 100% of the game, like, twice now. Friggin' hell, give my baby. Um, but yeah, I can, I can do it now. It's still not easy, but I can do it. Just like my, my pride made me do it, so. Eh, no, eh, no, damn. Didn't want to have to wait for the platform. Oh, now it's happy, yeah, do, 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 do. Going up in space again. Shit. Oh, jeez. Oh, well, that was... That was bad. Oh, good. Okay. So, like, I'm wondering, like, what do I do now? Do I have to go back to the other room and then reset this guy, or what? It's kind of funny. This is the kind of same idea that we did in the, just the last level, but way easier, because there's no death here. It's just more annoying than anything else. It's not like, you know, KMX coming after me. It's not like there's red coins to be gotten. Like, that. that very easy. Eh, well, I'm okay with that. Oh, here we go. Here's something a little crazier, I guess. Who's aiming at me? 
Really? Nothing? I thought I'd be, like, going around left and right and whatnot, but I guess I'm just going straight down. Wow, that was... That's a weird room. So is this one. Jeez. Oh my god, so many of them. <laughs> and they can't really hurt me unless I run into them, so... Not really a big deal. There we go, avoid them all. Can't eat them. Which makes sense, I guess they're big enemies. Oh, jeez. That actually, like, scared me a little bit. Is that it? We're done? Alright, cool. Eh. Noise. Well, that was easy. Yeah, very easy. Alright, on to the last level, which, like I said, I've already recorded technically, so whatever. Let's, uh, go meet future Phil. I mean, wait, past Phil. I'm not good with time, I guess. Alright, here we go to the final, final, final level. King Bowser's Castle. So you're seeing this kind of out of order because um, I need to have beaten this level 100% in order to get extra level 6. So, I, I, I get why they do it like that because, I mean, you need to 100% the levels to get the extra levels. But it's weird because you go through this and you've already done like the, the super happy ending and the smiles and the yay and whatnot. And then it's just like, alright, play another level. I don't know, it just feels kind of weird to put in there. Uh, shit. Oh, careful there. Nice, there we go. Whew, be careful there. This is not a very long level, um, at all, to be honest. That's the only midpoint until the very last, last, last area. But here we have one of four rooms that we're gonna have to do. And, uh, three of them are fine, one of them's not. You basically just want to avoid number three. Number three is an auto-scroller, so let's, uh, just avoid that. There we go. Room number one. Which is like the, f uh, whoops, the fire and, um, like, death kind of, like, spikes and stuff like that. Floor, or, sorry, room two is, like, shy guys of all sorts of different types of shy guys. Uh, room three is an auto-scroller with tap-tap, and it's just, it's just frustrating and annoying because it's an auto-scroller. And there is a forced auto-scroller in this level already, so having to do two is just not fun. Um, I forget what door number four is, but whatever. Not really a big deal. If I die during this, I'll try for another room. Basically, what I'm getting at is don't get room number three. It's the worst room. Oh, man. Okay, good. <laughs> it could be a lot worse. Whoops. Okay. Oh, damn. Okay, well, whatever. That is definitely one of the harder rooms just because it's, you know, pits and fire and stuff, so... I'm super okay with trying to get another room. Try for room two or four. And not room three. I'll be sad if I get room three. Either way, stop, stop, stock up on eggs. Um, okay, room four. Nice. <laughs> really worried there. Oh, okay. This will be easy. Oh, wasn't that easy? Actually, I think this is the easiest one. <laughs> it looks pretty easy, if you ask me. Wow, is this the whole room? Yep. Yeah, that's my favorite one. I like that one a lot. <laughs> Can I get a red egg? No. I need a red egg or something to... Okay, yeah. So, um, no matter where you, uh what room you end up going to, it always goes back to this one, where Kamek will be waiting for you, and he'll fire things at you. Just like in Mario World, if it hits a, a block, it'll turn into, like, an enemy or something. So you want to be really careful, and don't let him do too much. Shit. Okay. Eh. He'll disappear if you get really close to him, though. Let's see if I can hit something with her. Oh, nice! That's exactly what I needed. Thank you, Kamek! Um, fairly easy area. You just kind of... Just gotta go where Kamek is before he can actually do anything. Oh, well, didn't get there this time, but not a big deal. Like, basically just do what I'm doing in that sense. It's not too bad. So yeah, no matter which door I would have went through, this is where it comes out. So I guess room number four is definitely the best one, because holy crap, that was hilarious. Shit, uh, I saw that coming from like a mile away. Oh, well, not a big deal. Now I, I kind of want him to make an enemy for me. Perfect. No, these are actually bad for me because I can't... I need... Oh, perfect. Cool. And one more would be great. Ah, shit. Ah, this is bad. 
and I'm gonna miss that if I don't get it. Okay, good. Oh shit, really, man? Kamek, you're ruin you're ruining everything. Wow, I'm just getting friggin' destroyed. Well, whatever, I can't really do much here. Oh, there we go, perfect. I don't know why I was worrying. Never mind. Cool. And then, bam. Here we go, the final area, final boss. Oh my god, it's King Bowser. He's gonna be huge, because I mean, he's King Bowser, right? Oh, you can see him up back there, whatever. You, you are n -n not welcome here. Yoshi, please hand over the baby. <laughs> I love baby Bowser. Oh dear, what to do? Young Master Bowser awakes. Time I get too noisy in here. I want to go sleepy bye. That's what, that's what baby Bowser is supposed to sound like. Canonically, that's what he sounds like. I love that so much. I love baby Bowser. He's so freaking cute. Huh? <laughs> what kind of green donkey is that? Looks like fun. Me run away. Bye. <coughs> I, <coughs> I can't even do that. So I'll just do the, the thing from friggin' Finding Nemo. Mine? Mine? <laughs> there you go. And uh, just be careful of him. His only thing is to ground pound you. And uh, as much as I'd like to show you what it looks like, uh, he can ride on Yoshi and he gets very happy, but I want to beat him, so we're not going to do that. So what you got to do is, boink, hit him yourself. Oh, well, that was a good uh, good dodge. got to hit him with your own uh, little shock waves. And he's very easy. It's a very, very easy boss. Oh my god, he's so good at dodging me. Should have timed that a little bit better. There we go. Holy shit. Wow, I didn't think you could jump all the way over there. And... Boink. There we go. That's it. And of course, Kamek arrives. Yoshi, why did you do this? Young Master, let me help you here. And of course, Kamek's magic does something. And this is one of the coolest bosses in all of, like, Yoshi, Mario kind of stuff. I'm just going to be a little quiet just for this. So cool. And if you think he looks a little bit a lot like Bowser Jr., yeah, it's because Nintendo's lazy and when they made Bowser Jr., he just basically looks like this. It's super frustrating. Alright, when he roars, this happens basically, so be very, very, very careful. And you get one egg at a time, a giant one, and you gotta aim, and it's uh, not super easy to do, to be honest. Um, this might hit him. Nope, too, too high, basically. Whoa, that went really high. No, that was too low. Damn it, I'm getting bad at this. You you basically kind of have a time limit here. Because if he gets to where you are, you're dead. He's easier to hit the closer he is. But, you know, it's still very dangerous to do so. I have no idea how many hits he takes, but... And the last thing you want to let him do is to run at you like that. Frig. Well, that's not 100% for me, but I might as well beat this anyway since I'm already here. I don't think you can even pause. Yeah, you can pause, but you can't get anything. Ugh, my aim is just garbage. Come on, egg. I need an egg. Thank you. Too high. Jeez. Feels really uh, finicky sometimes. There we go. Oh, no, too high. Way too... Oh, no, that's... How did that feel like it wasn't as high? I don't know. Whatever. Not a big deal. And there's a point where you're just gonna run right at the screen. Like, just run right at the screen. You gotta take him out. Low. Also annoys me that you gotta wait for the eggs. He's not like a crazy hard boss or anything, as you can tell, but like pretty epic for like Yoshi type stuff. So Kirby always gets really epic bosses. Mm, too low, yeah. Yeah. Nearing the end of the. The first phase is basically done, because now he's going to make it even harder for me to find me footing. 
Man, he's... Oh, God, he's coming right up. Oh, God. Oh, thank goodness. Please don't. Please don't. There we go. Almost dead. Almost dead. Oh, shit. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, my God! Oh, my God. Yeah, that's like... Oh, like an, uh, less than a second more and he would have killed me. So there we go. I got a really weird fat... Headed Yoshi there. Yay. Also, it's kind of weird how Yoshi is always green in this level, even though it's the eighth level of the world. Boink. Yay. How dare you? It's not fair. You are such a meanie. Someday, we will be back. You'll see. Wow. <laughs> okay, Mac, you're weird. And off they go. And if you forgot kind of what we were supposed to be doing this whole time is uh, saving baby Luigi and the stork. I guess the stork too. But yay, baby Luigi! So, if them coming out of the, the bag is when they were born, I guess that technically means Mario is older than Yoshi. Or Yoshi. Older than Luigi. But if not, then I guess they're twins? I don't know. Thus, due to the marvelous teamwork of the Yoshi clan, the twins are reunited. The captured stork is freed by Yoshi and sets about his duty and finally makes the long-awaited journey. Thank you, Yoshi. The twins will meet the parents soon. Aww, how cute. It's actually a really cool ending. I mean, it's, it's kind of what you'd expect, I guess, but it's just nice. I don't know. Can I press anything here to skip this? There we go. Okay, good. I can never tell with text. It's like, did I read too fast or what? Oh yeah, I guess you get to see uh, Yoshi walk around and blow up another castle. There's that volcano again. Still no levels, but well, I guess in this this one in this world, I did kind of go into a volcano or something for like a level, but whatever. Yay! Good job, Yoshi. You took over the dark world. And there's the stork, off to make its delivery. Finally. It's a kind of a cool effect. Um, it's not as nice looking as the rest of the game, I find. I think it's because there's so much, um, like the clouds are being zoomed in a lot. and The stork looks sort of weird, but uh, whatever. I, I know what they're going for. They're trying to, to do epic stuff and make it look more 3D than just side-scrolling. Music's nice, though. Yay. So yeah, that's um that's Yoshi's Island, guys. I love Yoshi's Island. It's such a good game. I really hope you guys enjoyed it too. It is um one of the Super NES's just masterpieces. It really is. Uh, I can't believe the Super NES is able to even run this game. To be really honest, it it really shows how Nintendo used to go really really far for some of its titles. Sometimes, like I have no idea if this even sold well or made the money because like. The N64 was, like, right around the corner, because this came out in, I believe, 95. 94 or 95. So, f like, really late in the Super NES's life cycle. So it's like, I don't know, Super NES 64 was such a big deal in 96 that I'm wondering if a lot of people did end up buying this or if it was completely overlooked for Super Mario 64. I mean, you talk to anyone and they'll be like, yeah, it's a classic, but what can be considered a classic and, and a masterpiece now did not you know, always translate to sales back then. Now that this game is, you know, twenty something years old, like it, it's it's hard to, to judge whether or not people liked it back then, unless you kind of were there. And it, people did like it, don't get me wrong. People liked it a lot. Just don't know if it sold well. I don't remember I don't remember Nintendo pushing it all that much, because I remember their their talk always being about the N64. So But yeah, no, great game. Really, really good game. Considering how late it is in um, the Super NES's life cycle, it's not as expensive as I thought it would be, like, as a collector. I don't know what it goes for now, because I've had this game since I was much younger. Um, but it's, it's not, like, one of those, like, super rare ones. Like, I think, like, Kirby's Dream Land 3 is much more expensive. I think that came out uh, roughly the same time-ish, I think. I'm not sure. Mario RPG is another kind of expensive one. That came out, like, right after this one. Like, a few months afterwards? A year later? I don't know. It's all kind of hazy. I mean, I was, I was friggin' 10 when this came out, so... Yeah, it was 95, because it, it was the year Toy Story came out, so 95. But yeah, great game. It's kind of weird, though, because, like, as much as we, like, like, we all talk about it and how good it is, 
it is kind of weird that it's like, oh, it's it's six worlds with eight levels, and you know, it's not a very big game in that sense. Looks like they got to the place where my mom and dad lived. I forget what it said. <laughs> you know, everything else was so much bigger. This is just a traditional platformer, but really good. Like that stork's ugly. I'm sorry, that was an ugly. That looked bad. It's probably like the worst graphics in this game. <laughs> was that that stork? Blech. Yay. I like the music here, too. And I guess that's, um... Mario and Luigi's mom and dad. Aww. Oh, heroes are born. Yay! And that's the first, um, thing of baby Mario and Luigi. And then they became, like, a giant mainstay. And there we go, um... Thanks so much for joining me, guys. This was a great... Like, let's play. I, I really enjoyed playing it. Uh, thanks so much for joining me. Uh, there will be more random things later on. I'll probably do a couple quickies or something. We'll move on to another another bigger let's play. But thank you so much, guys, for, for being here for this. I'm Phil in the Blanks. Take care, guys.